Hey everyone, welcome to Consistence Place channel. Welcome to Matthew's Kitchen, guys. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare salmon steak and some side hot sauce pepper. Oops, the final result is here. The cooking. Just take out the fish, it's ready. See that? Dinner is ready. Hello everyone, welcome to Consistence Place channel. Welcome to Morty's Kitchen. Today guys, I'm going to bring to you a very quick recipe that you can do after a busy day of work. The last time I made fish here, uh, some of my subscribers made mention that fish is kind of tedious because you need to clean the fish. I got uh, an answer for all those who have issues cleaning fish. Today we are going to be doing the salmon steak. You buy it already cleaned at the store and all you do is season and, and roast on the stove top and that is really really quick. You can boil some plantains to go and go with it. You can eat with miondo, bobolo or you can eat with any carbohydrate of your choice. Right here we are going to be using salmon. I got it from the local store. Fresh Atlantic salmon steak and here the ingredients are for pepper on the side, the sauce on the pepper sauce on the side. I have uh, hot hab habanero pepper. This is a teaspoon of pepper. It's a spice that comes from Cameroon. Feel free to use black pepper or white pepper if you do not have this. I have uh, one onion, a piece of ginger, ten cloves of garlic. Jansang is a signature spice for pepper from Cameroon. We do a lot of recipes. If you wa watch my channel, you see I make a lot of recipes. And here I have four sticks of celery sticks. This is just to booster the taste and the substrate so it should not just be pepper 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 the first thing i do is i'm going to soak my salmon in water with salt just about a teaspoon in this quantity of water because here i have how many pounds of salmon this is just about three and a half pounds of salmon and i'll just put that in salt water let the salt penetrate the salmon it's kind of seasoning hack it's just soak it for about 15 minutes while you prepare the other stuff See that the salmon is clean all you do is soak in, in the salt water put some salt and go in there salmon has no smell for those who don't like fishy smell and it is uh, the bones are not bad like for children kids friendly so i'll just leave that in salt water to wash my plantains all i do i'm just going to peel the plantain real quick while, while our salmon fish is soaking in salt i'll just peel this real quick and drop it in the pot and guys this recipe was shown to me by a big a lovely big sister uh, sister Michela, she showed me how to do this fish. I mean, when I was used to, I used to be uh, scared about this fish because it was a little bit pricier than other fish species. But guys, when I tried the fish, it is irresistible. It's special fish, and I just want to make a special quick evening after a day of work. Uh, when you come back and you have you no know, nothing to really cook, it's something that you want to go to. I mean, to make the evening special and then have dinner on the table on time it doesn't take time this uh, recipe is really really a fast one it doesn't need you to do a lot of preparation so i mean it's something you definitely want to try and let me know already washed guys and it's optional you can add salt or not but me i'm not gonna add salt i'll just pour in a cup of water and then set that on fire and boil guys nothing so right now we're gonna be cutting this the celery into the into the blender. Yep, there. The celery will wash, keep that in mind. Celery will wash, keep that in mind. And we just pour everything in there. So right here what I did, I put all the ingredients into the blender. And now I'm just going to be adding uh, the salt, a little bit of salt. And then I'll season it at once. Like I'll put uh, two teaspoon scoops of seasoning salt, and I always tell you guys I blend my my seasoning salt with oil. That way I don't have too much water in it. That's just how I do it. I put oil like halfway through while our fish is still soaking in water, guys. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's blend this. Let me taste it. Hmm. It's ready to eat. You know, you might not even need to pass it in the fire. It's already very tasteful. I can eat mine like this with my fish. I don't care. I, I just you. want to put pass it in the in the fire, maybe to make it durable. 
because of all the fresh spices hmm. so you just pour it in the pot and then put it on fire so i've already washed clean the the fish out of the salt water so right now i always have a way of seasoning my fish because fish kind of has weak weak taste to it so i do really like tough spices i do white pepper and black pepper and lemon salt i mean just to give a little bit of seasoning because i rely mostly on the side sauce to do that guys yeah, so here is my lemon salt i mean just to toughen off the taste so it should not be nauseous pregnant women know what i'm talking about right so right now Try oregano in your fish and thank me later. It's a secret to fish that I just discovered. You try oregano flakes in your fish and then you thank me later. Yeah, our pantin got really dry and almost burned. And that's how just how I like it. There are about 15 minutes I boiled it and the water is dry. So it's ready. Let's move on to the fish. So we grease the pan just enough to grease the pan we are not frying it's kind of it's, it looks like frying but because someone asked me on my video that is like fried fish fried fish you use like a lot of oil to fry but this one you just kind of put oil you grease the pan on the bottom and then you cook it on slow heat and you cover it it cooks into the fish and then just makes the bother it's, it's like roasted we need to try it it's different it's not like fried fish that is just crispy all around so we just put this and then you call it grease the, the pan and then you cover it so I just set the fish there if your pan is not a non-stick I will call, recommend that you use egg egg to you put egg on your fish so that it doesn't stick so let's do this one Set it on medium humid. All I do is just cover the pot, the pan, a few minutes. Set our pepper on fire. I put it on fire and boil. So our pepper is boiling right at the back. And you know, we're ready soon. And now, all we do is turn the fish. Again, the same way I did uh, the catfish recipe in this video in this channel, too. Okay, these are just quick ways in the evening after a busy day. This is something that you want to go to. Look like I overburnt it, guys. I overburnt it. I left it for too long. Wasn't paying attention. But I don't think it's that bad there. Mm -hmm. Some stubborn teeth here that is doing your hot time, guys. The stubborn feet, you know what I mean? Our pepper is cooking. Just take out the fish, it's ready. See that? Ready? I think I prepare, prefer this other side. Uh, let's see how this goes. See that, guys? Dinner is ready. Just cooking this ready. 
I put some seasoning here just to company that you know. Just onion and green pepper that I seasoned to accompany the, the bowl. Okay. Dinner is ready and it's time to taste, guys. So I like the best. This is the best part of it. Let's pray and taste our food and see how it goes. Thank you for this food. Bless and thank Jesus' name. Amen. And like I said, you can do this anyway. Season it any way you want. It's just a quick way to make an evening dinner after a busy day at work. And I, I made this with some uh, uh, veggies, uh, no. pepper and onion. I just seasoned it and toasted it in the fry pan. So guys, I'll just move on and eat mine. Hmm, I love the pepper. Nom nom. You can never go wrong with this pepper. And the fish. The fish is not dry inside, you can see that. The back of the fish is crunchy, but the inside is uh, moist and soft. And that size it. The bones are not bad. The bones are, they are kids friendly. So you can make it at home and you will not be so worried about the bones. Unlike tilapia where it's a bony fish. Salmon is really a way to go. In this channel, you can also check out recipe for catfish. That is absolutely the best way to go with kids, especially if you have young kids who love fish. Or you can also do a skillet fish that has no bones. So this is good, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it and see you in our next video. Bye.